Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today Canada unveiled their COVID alert app on the App Store in Ontario. The app itself is supposed to tell you whether you've come into contact with somebody who tested positive for COVID-19. Let's take a look at how it works. So a couple months ago, we heard that Apple and Google were working on this sort of open source framework that was going to allow devices to randomly connect and exchange information. This was all under the intent of working with a COVID tracing app. So the app itself uses Bluetooth to exchange one-time codes between devices to notify you if you've come into nearby contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. Now there's been a lot of reassurance from the government, as you can imagine, that personal information is not being held and exchanged. In fact, they even went as far as to get BlackBerry to audit the software for security compliance. So what's gonna happen with this app is you're gonna install it, and if you do test positive for COVID, you're gonna enter a one-time code that will then alert everyone you've come into contact with. And this is totally optional. So if you do not want to share this information, if you don't want to alert everyone, you don't have to. And likewise, Ontario residents do not have to download this app if they don't want to. It's really more just for peace of mind. So let's take a look at how to install this app and how it actually works. So you can find the app just by searching COVID alert and it'll pop up here. So you're gonna start just by choosing whether you want English or French. It does have the Canada logo so you know it's legitimate. Step one of six. So together, let's stop the spread of COVID-19. COVID alert helps us break the cycle of infection. The app can let people know of possible exposures before symptoms appear. That way we can take care of ourselves and protect our communities. Your privacy is protected. COVID alert does not use GPS or track your location. It even breaks out here. It has no way of knowing your location, your name or address, your phone's contacts, your health information, the health information of anyone you're near. So the app uses Bluetooth, just like I had said, to exchange random codes with nearby phones. Every day it checks a list of random codes for people who tell the app they've tested positive. And that's the key here. You're gonna to have to tell it that you tested positive. It's not gonna auto detect this and it's not gonna do it without your consent. If you've had close contact with one of these people in the past 14 days, you'll get a notification. COVID alert is just one part of the public health effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. Follow all public health guidelines in your area. COVID alert does not replace medical advice. If you get sick, contact your doctor or healthcare provider. The app will now ask your permission. Allow the app to start logging random codes or random IDs when you're near other phones. The app will access the date, duration, and signal strength related to the random codes, but they never leave your phone. So now you choose where you live. and it asks you if you want alerts, so allow. So it looks like when I start the app, it says something went wrong. This is likely because I am using the iOS 14 beta. However, if you're on a normal update, it'll probably work for you. So the app itself is really simple. You're gonna have your dashboard here, and at the bottom, in your case, it's gonna say COVID alert is on. If you tap for the menu, you have the option to enter a one-time key. If you do in fact have COVID, or you can do things, change your province or territory, change your language, or learn more about how the whole thing works. And aside from that, it should just work for you. So overall, it's a very simple app. It's not gonna compromise your privacy or your security. And it's just gonna be this app that runs in the background to exchange these codes as necessary. Let me know in the comments, is this something that you're gonna be using once it does roll out widely? I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on the app in the comments down below. Always remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed it, as well hit the subscribe button to see more from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.